Hello and welcome to this video demonstration about how to use the Attribute Mover. The Attribute Mover was designed to allow riggers to reorder attributes on a given node so that animators find the layout of the different attributes on a given node more intuitive and find it easy to animate. Once you've downloaded this tool, you can run it a couple of ways by either copying and pasting it into the Maya 2016 scripts folder, then running import attribute underscore mover as am, am.launch command. That will be down in the description below. Or it can be run by copying and pasting the code from the text editor straight into a Maya Python tab, then running it from there. Either way, they can be saved into the shelves so they can be accessed quicker at a later date. To use the attribute mover, you first select a control with the different attributes on it you want to reorder, then load it in. This displays the different attributes and their current visibility. You can reorder the attributes by clicking and dragging them in the interface. You can reset the order to back to how they were started, or clear it so you can control a different controller. Once the attributes have been moved around, such as putting the arm controls below the hand controls, you can then apply the order and the order will be changed. You note that the incoming and outgoing connections are maintained as they are still animated and they still control the rig. You can also toggle the visibility of them, so if you want to hide particular controls from an animator, you can apply that so that the controls are hidden but they still work within the scene. Or you can then again right click them, reapply the order and they come back. Thank you for watching this video demonstration. I hope you found it useful. The download link for the attribute mover will be in the description below. If you have any questions or comments about it, please feel free to contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.